Hello and welcome to Cloud Force Vibes. My name is Bobby and this is how I grow orchids and carnivorous plants. Hello and welcome to Cloud Forest Vibes and Merry Christmas. It is Christmas Eve and I wanted to say hello to you guys. I wanted to wish you guys a happy holidays and a Merry Christmas wherever you guys are, whatever you guys celebrate or believe in. And I wanted to show you a couple cool things and share something with you that is really cool to me on this Christmas Eve. So anyhow, let's jump right in. There's a few things in here to look at, a couple blooms I want to take a peek at with you guys and then we're gonna jump right into the tank and I want to show you something really really cool so something that didn't quite make it but is really really neat I'm excited is coming along quite nicely is our Ionopsis utricularioides spike it's got three branches lots and lots of what look like buds coming on and the plant is still doing well hanging in there um, the Bulbophyllum tentaculiferum it did unfortunately blast its first spike but the second one is hanging in there and doing well and it's got three or four more actually starting so hopefully that plant will be with us again here real soon um, the Helwegianum has started one and two sets of blooms again so that's going to be with us for a while we've talked about that a few times the Dyneema polybulbin has opened one, two, three and we've got at least that many more buds coming on um, our Sophronides manticurea, sadly to say, oh, where are we at? Sad to say, our manticurea, our Sophronides manticurea, is finally starting to fade, as are the Tolumnia blooms and the Brassavola blooms. The uh, Catacetum shunkii, or at least that's what I was sold it to be, is coming along quite nicely. I'm not sure if this is actually a shunky eye or not. I keep looking at shunky eye blooms and then the way these are starting to form and do their thing and I just don't know. I really don't know. I guess we'll have to see. So that is exciting. Our uh, twinkle down here has opened up and it's starting to open up the second spike now. That's twinkle pink profusion. Awesome, awesome little blooms. It smells really good in here right now. And yeah, that's about it. The big news in here, I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but I have, but I have finally gone through and I have rearranged quite a bit. I've pulled a lot of plants up higher. Haven't done too much here, but um, rearranged quite a bit of the smaller plants up and to higher positions so they can get more light. Some of these back here, on the back shelf really still need work but I'm doing everything I can I think this plant as much as I hate to say it I love this maxillaria tenuifolia but I think it's gonna have to go soon either that or it's gonna have to get chopped down and um, made a more manageable size because I mean, you can't even tell like look at this let me get this out of the way I mean look at all these plants back here <laughs> I mean, they're all getting shaded out. My uh, dendrobium rhodostictum down here, poor little thing, did not bloom. And I am convinced it's because it's getting too much shade. All these plants, I think, would be quite a bit happier without that huge, huge plant in front of it. And these back here as well. So I'm trying to work some stuff out. I am struggling with a bit of a lack of space, to say the least. So some of the plants I've gotten when I got them were so small like this guy it was just a couple bulbs and they have just exploded they are getting huge the brassia down here as well is just starting to really take over the uh, other maxillarias and things like that this maxillaria here everything is just really growing nicely but good problem to have but I do need to figure out space so you know, we've got lots of stuff going on. I've got ferns starting to take over my grow room as well, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so that's it. I did a lot of rearranging. I actually do have a couple plants coming in. I did buy myself a Christmas gift, so I'm excited to show you that here sometime next week. 
and yeah most of those plants are going in here so anyhow on to the tank in here I also did a little bit of rearranging and I think it looks a whole lot nicer what about you guys most of the lepanthes didn't move I did pull the Mastavalia up to get more light and it looks awesome a whole lot cleaner and I did open up a whole lot more space believe it or not I really did I pulled the uh, Barbacella gardener eye out and I put it back in the tent where it started um, I think it was happier in there believe it or not so anyhow the one real special thing I want to show you guys is this and this is my Lepanthes hexapus now this plant blooms a lot but I don't know if you can tell I'm gonna have to zoom in hold on this plant does bloom quite a bit but it has never bloomed like this it has nine flowers open right now it had 10 yesterday I did get pictures I was not able to take a video yesterday I apologize guys but let me hang it back up and so anyhow here we are it's got all kinds of flowers I mean just smothered in blooms right now that is Lepanthes hexapus really really neat little miniature I do have a whole bunch of other ones that are in bloom right now so the Lepanthes mariposa as well it is just covered in flowers the um, the hexapos is in bloom you know we know how the Lepanthes roll but that is special that is really cool that's the first time I've had 10 flowers on that plant it's the first time it's been out of the single digits um, I broke my record the other week with five so very quickly it's doubled and I'm excited to see how it does. It's got lots of new growths coming and lots and lots of more spikes on it. So this plant is doing really, really well. Anyhow, that's my video for today. Pretty quick, but um, I did want to share with you guys this and just say Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to you all. I do appreciate you all and I guess we're going to have to sign out with this beauty because for the third Christmas in a row, it has blessed me with blooms. This is my favorite Christmas orchid, and from Cloud Forest Vibes, this is Bobby saying, happy growing, thank you so much for joining, and please stay safe this holiday season. See ya.